my name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to bleed your Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. You're going to need to gather a few tools together to do this job. You'll need a bleed block, you should get one of these with your brakes. If not, ask at your friendly local bike shop, they should be able to sort you out. You're going to need a 7mm spanner, ring spanner is ideal for this. You'll need a bleed funnel. This is a Shimano tool. The code for this is SM disc, SM hyphen disc actually. It's just a little funnel, screws into the brake lever. It's got a plunger. Pretty simple, but something you probably won't have kicking around otherwise. You'll need your mineral oil. Best to get the, the proper Shimano stuff. And whilst you can use this, with a bit of bit of hose to do the bleeding, it's much easier to do it with a proper syringe like this. And last but not least, whilst you can use a bit of hose and a bag, this is a much better contraption for catching the, the used brake fluid. Just a bent bit of wire, this is a spoke, an old drinks bottle, and a bit of hose. You do get this hose when you buy this small bottle of oil from Shimano, so it's kind of handy, doesn't cost much. Uh, just stick a couple of holes in the lid, and then you've got something to hang the contraption by, and then this will go into your, your bleed nipple on your caliper. That's it. Before we get the oil out and open up the brake, we're going to remove the pads. So if we get any oil on them, they're going to be totally knackered. So there's a little split, split pin, like a little clip on the end of the, the pad pin. And then we just whiz the pad pin out. If you've got SLX or below, this will be a, a long split pin that you just bend straight and pull out. Pop those somewhere safe and then remove the pads. They just lift out from the top. Put them somewhere safe where you won't get any oil on them. Then we need to fit our bleed block, which slips into place like so. With it in place, get your pad pin, pop it through, and just nip the screw up. At the lever end, undo the clamp and position the lever so it's pretty much level with the floor. Grab a two and a half mil Allen key and crack open the bleed port. Remove the screw, make sure you've got the little o-ring on the screw as well. And then get your SM disc bleed funnel. Screw that in place of the screw. Now we're ready to get down to business. Fill your syringe with your Shimano mineral oil. Make sure there's no bubbles in there and that the fluid goes all the way to the end. Remove this little rubber dust cap from the bleed nipple on the caliper and fit your 7mm spanner and then push the hose in place. We need to make sure that the plunger is out of our bleed tool and we can pass some fluid through the system. So if you crack the bleed nipple open, and carefully push fluid through the system and you'll see it rise up into the funnel. Makes sense to wear some eye protection to do this in case anything pops off. You don't want to be getting it in your eye. And we push fluid through until we stop seeing bubbles rising into the funnel. Okay. 
That's fine. When you're happy, close the bleed nipple. And you can remove your syringe. The next step involves bleeding the fluid back through in the other direction. So we need our bottle contraption that we've made. Find a place to secure that. And with the spanner still in place, fit the hose onto the bleed nipple. Now when we open the bleed nipple, gravity should send the fluid from the lever and back down through the caliper and into our bottle. Make sure you keep topping up the funnel, otherwise you'll suck air into the lever. That's coming through. And basically you keep doing that until you don't see any bubbles. If it's coming through particularly slowly, to be fair, this is pretty slow at the moment, then you can remove the caliper from the frame and have it hanging straight down. That will obviously increase the speed that the oil is flowing through the system. When you're happy that no bubbles are coming out here, then we'll close the bleed nipple, like so. For the next step, we need to squeeze our brake lever and with our spanner on the bleed nipple, we're gonna open it two or three times for about half a second. This will remove any final air bubbles that are in the caliper. With a few pulls on the lever, we should now have a firm bite point. So we don't have the caliper, make sure the bleed nipple is nipped up and we can remove our contraption here and refit our little rubber cover to the bleed nipple. Now at the lever, we're going to try and get as many bubbles out of here as we can. The way we're going to do that is basically by just pulling the lever lots. As we pull it, we should see tiny little bubbles rise up through the fluid in the funnel. And the more air that we get out, the firmer the, the feel will be at the lever blade. So keep going. Initially you might think oh, there's nothing coming out, but keep trying and eventually you'll probably see some bubbles come out. We can try this at various angles, about 30 degrees above and below being horizontal. Just keep going until your hands are worn out or you're happy and there's no air in the system. You try pulling the lever all the way back to the bars, giving it a flick, you can flick the hose as well to try and agitate any trap bubbles out of there. When you're happy that you've got all the bubbles out that you can, then we can put our little plunger into our funnel and then with the lever nice and level so we don't lose any fluid or well at least as smallest amount possible and we can unscrew the funnel and fit our bleed screw to make sure that the o-ring's there as well and just nip it up Torque set for this bolt is only 0.3 to 0.5 newton meters, so literally just nip it up, that o-ring will keep it sealed. And you should find now that you've got a really solid feel at the lever and a nice bite point. All that remains now is to reset your lever at the, the angle that you prefer to have it at and refit your pads, pop your wheels in and you're ready to go out and hit the trails. Thanks for watching, cheers, see ya.